I got a ton of messages from panicked Discord users saying that Discord is vulnerable to a hack and Discord is IP blocking users. But out of these two things, what is actually worth worrying about? The theme of this video is panic and stupidity. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is Discord blocking users. If you've been on Discord recently, you might have seen this webpage saying, sorry, you have been blocked. You are unable to access Discord.com. Now, a normal user that goes outside once in a while maybe would check Discord status to see if anything's wrong and check Cloudflare status to see if anything's wrong. But we're talking about Discord users. And what happens when the only website you go on on the internet your whole entire life is being blocked? Well, you start to panic. And when Discord users with an average IQ of room temperature start to panic, their IQ drops to single digits. Because instead of looking at Discord status, instead they go on r slash Discord app and post about being blocked. And it turns out 17,000 people also followed in their footsteps. Now it doesn't stop there. The panic and stupidity goes even further. Because instead of looking at Cloudflare status, instead you go on Twitter and you complain about it. But when there's panic, baby, there is misinformation. Information. I don't, <laughs> just a warning, there's a lot of nonsense I'm about to spew. This person thought that they were IP banned, another person thought that they'd been hacked or maybe unfairly targeted with disciplinary action, aka IP banned off Discord. Another person here said uh, not to use a VPN because apparently it terminates your IP. No idea how that works. Also, please don't harass anyone I talk about. They mean well, they're just misinformed. In one of my Angel Discord mods, and by the way, I'm getting banned for leaking staff chats, they said that they got 30 DMs from people saying that somebody DDoS Discord. And of course, there's probably some kid on the internet that's trying to claim accountability for Discord blocking you from their website. Now what actually happened? For four hours, Discord was down and all this panic happened. Now here's the thing, when something like this happens, it is completely okay to speculate on what's going on and trying to figure out what's happening. But freaking out about Discord being down isn't going to do anything. It's not going to make Discord magically work faster. Now going through this post, it made me realize that not a lot of people have had a power outage before. Because when your power goes out and you start freaking out and yelling in your house, it's not going to make the power turn on any faster. You just have to be patient and wait it out. I could understand people freaking out if it was a day, it was four hours. Now things got even worse for Discord users because right off the coattails of being blocked by Discord, the only website on the internet, right after this happens, people started getting everyone pings in Discord servers, talking about a huge vulnerability that has been spotted in WebP files. According to these announcements, you could be hacked by viewing a WebP file. And how do you keep yourself safe? Well, you shouldn't use the Discord app and you should stick with the browser version of Discord. And there's another solution, but it's impossible possible for Discord users. Just don't be on the internet for now. Now, I'm going to clarify if you should actually be concerned about this, but first we need to understand why people are actually worried in the first place. They're worried because there was a WebP zero-day vulnerability, and basically the open source LibWebP library that does encoding and decoding of images in the WebP format, and let me highlight this for some comedy relief later on, WebP is like web photo, which is an image, not a video. But basically, if someone made a malicious WebP image, they could execute arbitrary code on your computer and access sensitive data, aka the hackering into your computer. Now, this is a pretty technical article and Discord users aren't the brightest usually, so they might scroll down and they'll see in social media, Discord is vulnerable. Uh-oh. And it's not just one article, in fact, here is another article talking about the zero-day vulnerability, and they say that the LibWebP library is found in Discord. And people at this point are absolutely panicking and totally not missing the obvious hint of what's to come. And like I said before, when there's panic, there's misinformation. And the viewer sent me this image here of an everyone announcement that is beyond incoherent and it's also in crap quality so I remade it in normal text so I can read it. Alrighty fellow gamers, as the resident tech nerd I have a moral responsibility to inform the people of absolute BS going on in the security field. Oh god, here we go. There's currently a breach inside most apps that can run anything Chromium based. This allows for out of bounds writing. This is the most Zoomer sentence I will ever say on this channel, meaning hackers can dead ass remotely... <laughs> I can't say it. Hackers can remotely control your PC. You know things are going down when they use the word deadass. <laughs> LibWebP is the library to process video. Video? Homeboy, this is WebP. The P stands for photos. I think you might be getting confused with LibWebM. M stands for a movie. The movies. The way to keep yourself safe is uh, do not by any means necessary open any videos from the following sites. Discord, YouTube, Music, WhatsApp, Joplin, and GitHub. And this information wouldn't help you because Web P is photo. I've made that clear so many times. But really, the cream of the crop of this uh, misinformation Sunday is that this whole thing is probably also causing the current Cloudflare outage. Yes, apparently this WebM WebM. I genuinely have no idea how I did it, but I spent the last minute complaining about how this guy was messing up WebM and WebP. And just then, WebM, you heard me say WebM. 
God, I'm stupid. Apparently this WebM thing is causing Cloudflare to block you. <laughs> Two completely unrelated things are somehow related. Now anytime there's an everyone ping announcement like this, I instantly think of those WhatsApp hoaxes of don't add this person or they'll hack you. So whenever I want to get some clear information, I go on r slash discord app. Now there is a post about this libwebp vulnerability, but it kind of devolved into two nerds arguing about nuance, and one of them was right and one of them was slightly right. Things just got more confusing the more I read, so I went straight to the source. The NIST National Vulnerability Database, where there's this vulnerability we've been talking about and it's rejected? It turns out that this vulnerability is a duplicate of another vulnerability, so I dove even further, and maybe a Discord user followed in my footsteps, and I landed upon this vulnerability that was published on the 12th, and the two neurons in Discord users' brains start vibrating dangerously. Has my computer been vulnerable since the 12th? And I've already shown you the panic being blown out of proportion, so let me just tell you the truth on what's going on. Now there's two things you can look at. First off, you can see whether or not Discord, which is based on Electron, has been patched. Do a little bit of tomfoolery and you'll see that the Electron version is 22.3.24, and if I go back to my website, I will see that the patched version of Electron for this LibWebP vulnerability is 22.3.24. And it's been this version for like a whole week, so you haven't even been vulnerable. But that's not the whole story, because even if the Electron version was not 22.3.24, you were still safe. Because according to a couple people I've talked to, and according to the correct nerd in this whole Discord app argument, Discord already does a lot of proxying with your images, and you were not at risk anyways. But all these everyone announcements are, are nothing. You don't have to worry about it. If you're somehow avoiding Discord because you think there's some vulnerability, you're fine. But really, the key takeaway is whenever there's some sort of zero-day vulnerability, just update your apps. Bye-bye, I love you. Mwah.